What's up, fam, and welcome to this episode of Rex's Adventures. Today, I'm going to show you how to get to the Shangsang hiking trail via the MRT. So this is like the MRT or the subway, and you take one of these yo-yo card things, and you take it here, and you scan it, it pops open, and you walk right through. And it is, you can see it's really, really clean in here. The transportation is pretty top notch. The cities are well connected. Uh, there are bathrooms, which is really cool. I like those bathrooms here. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a very little graffiti, if any, you can see. And it's not that crowded for a Sunday. I'm about to go out for a walk. This station takes us to two major locations. One is Tom Sui and the other one is Sheng Shang, I believe, right there. So I'm gonna be taking a little hike today. I'm gonna take you with me. So I've now arrived to my destination is uh, almost to Shang Sang Park. As you can see there, I came up the elevators and same thing. I'm gonna have to use my yo-yo card right here to tap and get out. They have like really wide ones for like wheelchairs and stuff. And uh, I believe this is how it works. So here's my tap, the door opens. I'm gonna walk right through. And now I'm on the other side. And that's how quick it was to go two stops. It's quick here. And as you can see, still very clean. There's bathrooms. Uh, there's the ticketing information. So, on our way. People are really, really courteous here. So, for those who just want to stand and let the escalator take you up, you stand on the right hand side. But then, for those that are in a hurry, they'll come up the left side. And you can see up and down, people will leave this open. So, very, very courteous here. People are very nice. Uh, very, very helpful. So as I'm coming up, this is what I see. The structure is very, very beautiful. This was the escalator that I just came up. This is the stop that I'm going to. Uh, as you can see, there's all these electric bikes that you can get. As you come out of this station right here, it's very well marked right there. And it takes you into this park. The weather's absolutely beautiful today. And you see this little monument. I guess it looks like a whale. I'm not really sure what it is. But this is the park. You see people over there exercising. Let me zoom in for you. Right there. There's people out exercising. Beautiful park. The cool thing about Taiwan is they're bilingual. Most everything is in both Mandarin and in English. It's well marked. It tells you exactly where we're going and we're going to this hiking trail right here. It's about 10 minutes away, about a 700 meter walk down here. So across the street uh, from the park, you got people playing ball and I'm on my way to the base, but I found this. It looks like a hotel or something. It is beautiful. Just a very beautiful building. That entrance is very beautiful. They got a little driveway that people can turn into and got a little sculpture right there. So a lot of interesting things along the way. And just to see if I'm on the right track, there are more sign signage along the way. I just came from there. 
That's where the MRT station is. And I guess I'm supposed to go up that hill, which is not gonna be very fun. So we're getting nearing to the top of the hill and I want you to come over here and look behind me. That is one of the most iconic landmarks in Taiwan. That building is Taipei 101. It used to be uh, the tallest building in the world and you're gonna get the greatest views from this height. So let's go. Oh my God, that was a rough walk to the top. And what looks like, I want you to turn it around and look this way. It's a really tall building at the end of the block. And but what really looks like a dead end, you need to continue, I believe, down this alley to get to the beginning of, of the hike. And over this way, you'll see right here behind me, this is one of the last few places to get water or drink. Um, yes, the beer is like $35 here, which translates to roughly like $1.20. Um, ice water is $20, which is roughly uh, 75 um, cents. And uh, we'll have like one or two more opportunities to get take one or two more opportunities to get supplies before the, the hike to the top. Let's go. So not too far from the dead end, roughly, you know, another 15, 20 seconds. We turned and finally got to the base of the walk. It's Shang San, Sun meaning like mountain. And um, this, is, this is pretty much where the grueling walk begins. I'm gonna let you know roughly how far the walk is. I heard it roughly 1.8 kilometers. And I uh, wanted to give you just a little insight. It's, it's probably about 80, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's very, very humid. You can see I'm dripping with sweat, so why the the long sleeves with the long pants and my number I would rather do this in t-shirt and shorts but I have this uh, UV shirt that I'm running with so I don't get sunburned because even though it's a little bit cloudy and overcast you can still get sunburned um, and then I'm wearing the pants because Taiwan is a tropical island and um, we're in the tropics basically you know there's a lot of fruits and vegetables that grow very easily here uh, potato yams is one of them but along comes the environment also comes the mosquitoes and uh, they, they really like the McDonald's blood in my veins so they're just like biting me all over the place I don't know if you can see that but that is a gigantic bite that I have right there and I'm just swatting them off uh, left and right so but uh, this is gonna be a fun hike because uh, supposedly the view is supposed to be phenomenal so let's get and uh, here's a map there's two ways to get up there one is the longer way um, which is supposed to be an easier hike and the other one is going to be uh, shorter but it's gonna be a lot more steep so the scooter has been a great source of transportation for me. I can take it 
in stores and down the street or to the night market but um obviously for this hike i'm gonna have to put it away and it's gonna be my pack and i got some water um and a couple of snacks in my bag and uh here we go Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is where all the mosquitoes live. Not good, but these are pretty steep steps. <laughs> so from the first leg, I get to this and it's a visually impaired master pathological massage for your head, neck, shoulder, and back for $300, which is roughly ten dollars and this is the master at work all right so this is the fork in the path right here that is the long way but it's a little bit more tame this is a little bit shorter but much steeper so we'll see which one i decide to do we got a couple of different options right there if we go left 27 minutes to that lookout uh to the fireworks lookout it's 14 minutes and to the pavilion it's nine if we go right here the steeper way all the way to the peak it's almost 90 minutes 2.8 kilometers like it's three miles up so we're gonna go for uh, probably number number three right there and try to find our way back to this lookout point right there. So this way we go. If you're a little adventurous, you can definitely go off trail as well. It's not something that I want to do because the air has thin out here but you know if you're an avid, avid adventurer or hiking fanatic you can definitely do it. The name of this mountain translated is Elephant Mountain it has beautiful iron work including this little elephant etching or carving here and up here you feel like you're really in the wilderness you know as we start to get higher and higher at elevation you can see the buildings in the town below as we get higher and higher the air is thinner and thinner but i see uh you know a lot of elderly doing this hike and if they can do it so can i I finally made it to a station. It was a lot harder hike than I thought. It's very steep and the air is very thin up here. But like I said, I've seen a lot of little kids and I've seen a lot of elderly and they're doing it like it's nothing. But here is the payoff is you get a beautiful view of that icon right there. And it's about you know, another 20, 30 feet there's actually a lookout station that I climb up to. There's a lot of people up here. So I'm going to wait my turn. But uh, it's going to be pretty epic. I'm going to take a couple pictures as well. Supposedly, there's another lookout station. Not too far. Maybe a two-minute walk. But it's two minutes of really steep stairs into the jungle. Pretty good payoff for that last two minutes. There's a rock and on the rock it says no climbing, but these influencers right here definitely willing to break the rule in their necks to get this view, which is pretty sick.
little off the path right here. You can see glimpses through the, the brush. Awesome, here it is. Oh, beautiful. Another beautiful lookout. Very beautiful views up here so you can hear they're like cicadas or something oh it's creepy i think i need to go I'm not exactly sure um, we're like here pretty much almost to the top we didn't do this because that's hella far but uh, I'm starting my um, descent now and um, it's it's pretty steep in this area and uh, but you know the views were phenomenal and uh, definitely going down uh, much less strenuous than going up, but it is um, pretty steep and uh, gotta be careful.
back down to um, the first stage right here. Um, it's got great views right here. You don't need to go to the peak. But uh, this is about 15 minutes up. And, uh, you know, we went probably twice that. But here's a great place to stop if you, if you just want to be quick and then do some, some really scenic photos. So we're almost back down to the fork. And uh, those are the people who took the flatter but longer trail. This was the much steeper but shorter trail. And then, you know, it's going to meet up somewhere right there. So almost back down to the bottom and uh, give you guys an idea of um, how far it was actually up and down in terms of miles. It's hard to translate kilometers. You, know, you can tell some of these people do it every day. Saw a lady with two inch heels and a cup of coffee. So obviously um, very doable. Saw a bunch of kids too. So definitely doable. to almost where we started I should support local business right there and uh, this is the probably the last set of stairs to um, the beginning oh I could see the street so this is right almost to right back where the trail ooh, started got to be careful some of these stones are loose and takes you back in this little town right here <sighs> yay i made it and uh i'm still alive so so this is the town of uh, Shao San, right? So Elephant Mountain is what this was. So right here was the door and this is what seemed like the dead end. And uh, we're walking back out to the main road right here. And uh, don't forget, support local business. The little tourist trap right there. Get your water, your cold drink and uh, your snacks. <sighs> Most everybody's pretty respectful in this town. Lots of uh, tourists. I guess this would be her business. Yeah. There it is. Little shop working out of a van. And uh, Beer, cold beer, sounds pretty good right now. And, uh, I have no idea what this is, but it's a very beautiful building. And then back down the street. All right, almost back to the park, but another beautiful look at that and this little town right here. Okie doke, I'm back. So um, there it is, the hiking trail from here. Uh, it's about 10 to 15 minute walk. It's not too far. And it is right off of uh, Shangsan Station, number two right there. You get out and you just walk up to this street, follow the signs, 10 to 15 minutes and you're there. I highly recommend it. It was definitely a interesting hike, very scenic. And uh, now we're uh, back to the MRT. Everything is well connected here. Everything is very, very clean and orderly. You don't see too much trash. You don't see too many unhoused people. Um, yeah, it's very, very uh, impressed. 
Um, most people here speak English and um, highly efficient, uh, no graffiti, and very polite and very orderly. I take it back. There is graffiti, but it's very cute. And it's all over the walls. And that's their decoration. Looks like some like five-year-old did it. <laughs> Going back through the gates. I always think this is cool, so I like to record it. So they have these things called yo-yo ka, which is just a tap card. And you tap it, and it tells you how much is left. Opens the door, and I will get through with my scooter. And what's really cool here is um, it's clean. You don't smell urine. You don't see graffiti. Uh, you don't see homeless people. It's just fantastic in here. So we're here at uh, platform uh, number one, which is Xiang San, right? Translated, it means like Elephant Mountain. And this is the station here. But we can also go to um, Tam Sui, which is translated like pure water or calm water, which takes you to the wharf. And that's another adventure. If you guys want to see that, comment uh, below. And maybe I might go to Tam Sui for you guys. Um, but again, very beautiful. MRT, very safe very little crime. Uh, kids take this to school all the time. Everything is well mapped out in both English and in Mandarin. So you know exactly where you're going. Very, very orderly. And always mind the platform gap. by the door they have priority seats for the elderly or for parents with children so they can get on and off pretty easily it's very orderly you don't see anybody pushing anybody you know shoving everybody's pretty respectful here that was a pretty smooth ride i'm going back up the escalator and back to my stop uh, i believe it's Amhalu station and uh, they really don't like me and my scooter here the uh, policeman so they have their own police station here in the MRT and uh, he he almost started chasing after me and uh, but this station is very beautiful look at that ceiling and the architecture and uh, this takes me right back up to the street I believe it's uh, Xing Yi Lu, section 4. So this is where I got on. Uh, this pretty much will conclude my trip to uh, Elephant Mountain. Thank you for following along. Here is the station right here. And until next time, everybody. Peace.